this and how are you? So today we're gonna be talking about the Milk Balm Body Cleanser and this is by G9. So this is a body cleanser and the packaging looks pretty amazing and sickening. So um, I wanted to bring this out because I haven't seen as many reviews of this product so far. So I think I, it's a good idea to try it out and see how you guys, what do you guys think? I'm gonna give you my honest opinion in this video and I think um, it, could, it will be really good to just say that I like to stay positive. Usually um, when I don't like a product, I either avoid it, or like I don't use it anymore and I trash it or I tell you guys, and there are a few products that I really don't like. Um, but this was one of the products that I spent uh, $25 before tax. And I think it's good for people to see the good products and the not so good. So it comes with, um, with that being said, um, I hope you guys are doing great. And I hope you guys don't be offended by how about my review of, about this about my review of this product and overall I feel like I, I'm feeling a little bit nervous that um I just want to be honest with you guys I want to make sure I stick to my real comment to where I want to stand in a point where I just want to be honest and I don't want to be like repetitive and I don't want to be uh like a trash kind of uh, channel videos where I'm just gonna be like hey I love it buy it I'm not like that so I just like to be on my with my honest opinion because I purchased this item with my own money, so I feel like it should be good to be honest about it. So this is a milk shower to achieve healthy skin. It's a body cleanser with milk protein extract that could generate soft bubbles to help remove skin. And it's a waste while provides milk care to achieve moisturized and, and healthy skin. It says apply an appropriate amount of the body cleanser on bath sponge and rub to generate bubbles. After massaging your body with the sponge, rinse it off with Lukerman water. Okay. Okay, so the first product, the first ingredient in this one is water. The second one is ammonium. The third ingredient is ammonium lauryl sulfate, which I think it's kind of a conditioning one. Um, Butylingly coal. It has eucalyptus. It has um, coconut extract, it has camellia, um, it also has, let's see what else, As citric acid, which is kind of like a form of vitamin C, and it also says here it has fragrance. It does say in here, a caution for external use only. If the skin irritation occurs or increases, discontinue use and consult with a physician. Keep out the reach of children. Uh, it doesn't say which number of batch. It comes in Korean and more Korean. It reaches, like I said, for $25. So, so far, so good. I think it's a cool packaging. It's kind of like a milky one, just because it's basically like a milk one. And I think it's pretty cool. If you feel, if you touch the name of them, it just feels engraved, which I think is kind of a cool idea for this product. We're gonna jump into the product. And as you guys can see, we've gone through half of this stuff so far has a powdery like you know what when you um um use this ointment onto the baby's bottom to make sure that they don't have this uh, friction and uh they don't have uncomfortness it kind of smells like that like a baby product like a very powdery baby product if you guys know what what i'm talking about please make sure you click thumbs up if you don't know comment down below it says this body cleansers with milk protein extract cold generates soft bubbles, same thing. This is made in Korea. It doesn't say once it's open how many months it's good for because it's in Korean. Hold on the bottom, it says expiration 2021. So that means that in two more years, it's gonna be expiring. Now I do, I'm gonna talk about the consistency. The consistency, it's a little bit runny, which for a body soap, I feel like it's pretty cool. It's, I mean, it's body soap, but overall, I think it it could have done a better job. Like, I think it's a waste to be spending twenty five dollars for this product, and the reasons why is because not only um, it feels sticky a little bit, but it also feels very drying. I don't know if the main part ingredients of them overall they are not as nourishing as a regular body soap. We had to switch this product for a olive oil the yellow one with the um i talked about that 
product in my empties video in January 2019. Uh, it's the, um, let me see if I have one here. I do actually, brand new one. This is the Olive Olé Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. Uh, this one locks in the moisture, it works perfect for me, works perfect for the melon, it works perfect for my dad. And I actually want to try out another one that I have in here. This is the Ultra Moisture Extra cream, Creamy and Coconut one. I haven't even opened this one. I don't even know what this smells. So, um, I just want to be honest about, about it, guys. When I don't like something, I just thought I had a... I had my mind set that I was going to try something cool. And Korean Beauty, it's all about, like, having great skincare, having, you know, making sure that your body's nourished and cleansed and hydrated and always plumped. But this cleanser just, I don't want to be rude, but it, it sucks. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't recommend to buy $25 for this. This is an overpriced item. I feel like a dollar um, body cleanser would do such a good job instead of this one. Don't buy it. If you buy, if you buy from G9, stick to the honey eye patches those ones are amazing they are sickening they are lifting they are hydrating uh, they move a little bit uh, as you move around the house while you're putting the patches on if you're somebody who just usually lays down you're probably gonna enjoy them more uh, but this one is not a good cleanser i don't recommend it it's super expensive um it doesn't even says how much product you get good idea it doesn't says how much product you get out of this product it doesn't have it doesn't have a like a milliliter or you know pounds or grams or anything like it's so hard to find ingredients it's so hard to find directions it actually does this here it's in korean and then it says 500 milliliters which i think it kind of be like um i don't know i would have to google that up. but it's not as bigger as the other one this body ultra moisture shea butter body wash this is three fourteen dollars at costco three fourteen dollars at costco this one was twenty five dollars this is 700 milliliters which is more than 23 fluid ounces this is less than that and it's four times probably no, i'm not gonna lie twice as much price as the other one I don't compare products, but when it comes to quality wise, don't I don't recommend it. Like I would recommend this ones, but this ones are overpriced for me. But that's been said, guys. I hope you guys are being honest with all of your opinions, and I just want to be real about it. And if you guys want to try this product, I mean, give it a try, but make sure you know that this is a little bit dry, and you gotta put a moisturizer on your body because then your skin gets really itchy. Scent wise, it's really nice. It smells like baby powder. Overall, I don't recommend it. I don't like it. Um, I'm still having a hard time finishing it up. So I hope you guys have other recommendations for body wash, body shower gels. If you guys have any, please let me know. I will be more than happy to know them and explore those ideas. But overall, I think it's a good idea to say big no-no to this one. With all this being said, guys, I hope you guys are having a great time. And I'll see you guys soon.